Hey everyone, it's AP here. Sorry this week's vlog is a little bit delayed. I got back from Amsterdam on a Tuesday, so it's put my schedule back just a tiny bit, uh, but I'll be fully back on track next week. Anyway, I've got a bunch of awesome stuff to cover with you guys, so let's just get straight into it. So first up, for you vinyl lovers out there, I found a great documentary for you this week. Uh, it's called Vinyl Fascination, which focuses on the vinyl scene in Germany. And uh, it's a really interesting look at what attracts people to the format, as well as the process that goes into creating all these vinyls. I myself have still got three crates of vinyl that I love to death. Uh, I mean, there's just really something special about seeing the vinyl case, taking out the sleeve, uh, that feeling when you put it on the deck, it's just really super satisfying. And you know, with like vinyl, it's one of those formats that it picks up little marks and pits of dust and it creates its own like character. So like, even though that tune has been repressed for however many thousands of people, that copy that you own yourself is completely unique to you, your, you, you know? <laughs> Final, I have a massive love for that stuff. So uh, if you do as well, and you want to find out a little bit more about the history of it, uh, definitely check out the documentary. It's a, it's a really interesting watch. What I like about vinyl is the fact that it's not only the quality of the sound, it's also a piece of art. Wer wirklich ein paar tausend Schallplatten ansammelt, da merkt man dann auch, dass es wirklich was ganz emotional ist, was ganz Persönliches ist. In case you guys might have missed it, I recently posted a compilation of the 360 videos that I've taken at Boomtown Chapter 9. There's parts from Sector 6, The Hidden Jungle, uh, The Insane Asylum, The Sci Forest, and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So if you're really feeling the Boomtown blues, you now have the ways to get right back into all the chaos. <laughs> If you want to see this video or any other video that I'm talking about, check the description below and I'll put all the links to anything up there for you. And don't forget with 360 content you don't have to have a headset to be able to view it but it is highly recommended. I mean I have a Gear VR for a lot of the stuff that I do and it's super basic but at the same time it does create that level of immersion that you really kind of like lose if you're just looking at a 360 video or photo uh, on a PC or a laptop or anything like that. Uh, so if you can, I would highly recommend getting even like a, a really sort of like basic model for it because it really does create a different level of immersion when you're viewing uh, any sort of 360 content. I'll put a link to some different headsets in the description below at different price points so you can make your own mind up about how much you'd want to go in on that. You don't have to at all as well. If you want to, you can still view it on a PC or a phone. There are some phones that will let you use the phone as like a viewpoint so you can you, like move it around without a headset or anything like that at all. But yeah, definitely a headset, I found it is the way to go if you want to really get the most out of that sort of content. So as I mentioned earlier, I was in Amsterdam for Amsterdam last weekend and it was exactly what I needed. The last couple of months I've been running myself into the ground, uh, just constantly working away on my PC and not really getting out outside much. Uh, so it was really nice to spend a few days away. And because we were out there for a few extra days, uh, it gave us a bit more chance to uh, take in some of the culture and some of the sights and sounds that would might probably would have skipped over if we'd just gone out there for the event. One of my highlights was also getting to see uh, the Banksy and Salvador Dali exhibition and it had a lot of pieces from Dali's private collection uh, which is really cool to see. I don't get a lot of the hype around Banksy's work if I'm honest. I mean it looks cool but there doesn't seem to be that much for me there. <laughs> what I was definitely not expecting to see was the slab of concrete all the way from Stokes Croft in Bristol uh, in Amsterdam. That was definitely a bit of a surreal moment. Uh, but yeah, apparently it had, there was like a slab that had a Banksy tag on it and it had to get removed because 
people were constantly trying to steal it, which is pretty insane. Salvador Dali's part of the exhibition, for me, uh, really made the exhibition what it was. Uh, it's really nice to see all his different pieces of artwork. You had paintings, sculptures, and uh, they even had a load of his famous quotes written on the walls as well. So yeah, seeing all that stuff it was really inspirational. Melting clocks are sick. <laughs> now for this trip, as I was saying, I tried to take some time out from taking more videos and photos, but I obviously, I took more photos and videos. So yeah, the majority of the stuff that I took out there was just on my phone. I was just strictly, don't take a 360 camera, don't take your nice camera, just take your phone, that's it. Because otherwise I would just go completely crazy. I think I still took about like 200 photos or something like that. And anyway, I posted a bunch of photos uh, from Facebook and Instagram. So uh, if you want to see any of those, just go to at OP Film and Photography. If you want to follow my Instagram, I post up a combination of photos and videos up on there. And every now and again, I might do a little bit of live stuff. Uh, if you happen to not see any of the stuff that I've posted so far, here's a little bit of what you missed out on. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at OP Film and Photography. I do post on there pretty regularly, and there's live stuff on there that I don't post anywhere else as well, so definitely check it out. I'm going to be in Manchester for Luminosity's Halloween event, and I absolutely cannot wait. And then we're going to be in November. Wait. We're going to be in November? Oh, where is the year gone? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone so quick. Oh well, at least Blade Runner 2049 was pretty decent, right? They know you're here. You do not know what pain is yet. You will learn. Bring it to me. Also the same month where season three of Mr. Robot comes out and hell yes. Something is happening. It could be big. This is going to mark the end of E Corp. This is your moment. You cannot turn away now. If you pull the right strings, a puppet will dance any way you desire. If we don't do anything, there'll be no coming back from this. If you guys have seen any TV shows or films recently that you're really uh, excited about, let me know in the comments what they are. I'd really like to see what you guys are up to. Or oh, if you've got any films coming up for the rest of the year that you're really hyped about. Thor Ragnarok is probably on my radar for the next big release uh, coming out that I'm interested in seeing. He's a fighter. a queen or a monster. I'm the goddess of death. Everyone's getting hype about Star Wars The Last Jedi. I mean, it's kind of like getting a chef to make your favourite dish. It's like, you know what it's going to taste like. You know exactly what it's going to be. You're expecting a few little nuances along the way, but you're generally expecting what you're going to get which is more Star Wars. I clapped when I saw Darth Vader! ATSTs, ATSTs. Lucasfilm logo, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, but no title crawl. Oh well! I applauded it for being different! 
It broke new ground! Remember Chewbacca again? Oh, I love to remember Chewbacca! <laughs> So from this point forward, it seems like Thursday is the best day for me to be able to put these videos out. Uh, it's been the day that I've been able to commit to so far the most, even though I've darted about the place quite a bit. So from this point forward, I am thinking Thursday is going to be the day for five, six o'clock, something like that. Five o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock, five o'clock. Yep, yeah, five. We'll post these at five. Some, sometime on the Thursday, these will get posted. I can guarantee that. From now on, because this is, this is not a Thursday. And that is about it for this week, you guys. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what I do here, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you want to show me some support, check out my Patreon. Massive shout out to all of you guys that are on there already. Much love to all of you guys, and I will see you next time.